Hello YouTube, this is Armcat, and I'm pretty sure we all have come across a Samsung phone in the S line. We all know how great they were, and especially the features that they boast, how amazing they were. Now the phone I have isn't one of them, but it definitely was at the time. Now this phone is a Samsung Galaxy S5, and it took me down memory lane. I remember having this phone uh, in 2017, and it was a blast using it. Although the phone was 4 years old at the time, it was actually still a good, good experience to use. Now, we can all agree that at some point, we have got bored of the look of our phones, and I tried to change a few things to enhance our experience. I myself have done that and can confirm that installing a custom ROM can add to a better user experience. Now, I know this video isn't about custom ROMs and all that kind of stuff, but instead I will be talking about my experience using the Galaxy S5 and some features and quirks I've discovered upon using this phone. Before I begin this video, it will mean a lot if you guys can hit that like and subscribe button. I will be posting once, maybe twice every week and keep you guys updated on new videos. Thank you. Okay, so talking about the hardware side of the Galaxy S5, we do see that the phone does embody a full plastic body. Now this isn't an issue especially for today, because we do know that the Galaxy S5 did have a removable battery. Now with the use of plastic all around the body it was pretty easy to make a battery placement really user friendly and really simple. And we also do see that on the edge of the Galaxy S5 it does have some chrome strips. I wouldn't say they're chrome strips but they are chrome coated plastic. Now these plastics weren't the best design choice if I do say so myself. I do think they look a bit tacky but it definitely does add some pizzazz to the device. Now the chrome finish does tend to peel away and we do see that we do get that plastic uh, white texture as soon as the chrome coating of the device starts to deteriorate. Now looking at the front side of the Galaxy S5 we do see that it does have a glass display. I mean that's obvious especially for today's standard and the display does feel pretty good and underneath that glass is a 1080p AMOLED display panel which looks really good at dark times. We can see that the AMOLED does start to pop especially when the black background is introduced. Now when we look at the design of the Galaxy S5 we do see that it's pretty outdated especially for today's times. I mean it did encompass the design from the predecessor the Galaxy S4 so there's no complaining there. One issue I did find with the design was placement of the fingerprint sensor. I know it's an OG style but I didn't like it. I would have preferred having no fingerprint sensor than having that because the performance of the fingerprint sensor was actually pretty bad. And I'll show you guys in the, these clips. The fingerprint sensor would not budge. It wouldn't give me a chance to even register my fingerprint sensor for some reason. Now, do partially put the blame on myself, but this could easily have been fixed by just adding a, like a touch sensitive fingerprint sensor if that makes sense. The ones that you normally see on like the S10e. We do see that it does have a side fingerprint button which I love that design, but it's long gone now. We don't tend to see these features anymore which is a good thing I guess, but yeah. Okay so look at the software side of things. The Galaxy S5 didn't really have much to show. I mean this stuff can all be changed to a custom ROM which is what I did. I installed Lineage OS 17 I believe and it's been a comfortable experience. Now I did since switch over to the stock ROM that the Samsung Galaxy S5 has and nothing's ever changed. I mean it's still stuck on its boring Android 6.0.1 update and it's touch with skin which I'm not a fan of but then again all this can be changed. Now we do know that on the software side of the Galaxy S5 it is pretty weak. There's nothing to talk about really but speaking from experience I do find that the software on this phone is just fine. It's definitely gotten me through the day. I've seen decent battery life performance and all that so it's nothing to write home about but the Galaxy S5 will definitely get the job done if that's what you're looking for. So going into using this phone, I was definitely terrified of the fact that the battery might not last that long. I mean, we do know that the Samsung Galaxy S5 did come with a 28,000 milliamp hour, and it would have definitely deteriorated over its seven years of use. I think I had all the right to be terrified I mean, when it comes to battery life on this phone, the experience was poor to say the least. 
Watching a YouTube video with the brightness cranked halfway proved to be a challenge for this phone. While you're playing Among Us, the phone lost a considerable amount of battery in a short period of time. And to be honest, this almost ruined my experience. But I wasn't going to end it there. So instead of worrying about the battery life, I was worried whether I was going to win this Among Us game. Okay, so moving on to the quirks of these phones. We do see that the phone's display is quite interesting to say the least. We do see AirView being implemented on this device. Now this feature has seen use in the Galaxy Note line, and that is the way that S Pen was actually able to interact with the display without coming in contact. Pretty cool stuff for a 7 year old phone. Now when we look past these amazing features, there are a few that tend to let this phone down. We see that Apple uses Siri and Windows uses Cortana, but when we move on to the Samsung side of things, we start to hear S Voice. Now, how can I say this nicely? S Voice sucks. Fun fact, I've never heard anyone say hey S Voice or S Voice, weather please. It's very rare. But one thing that also gets me heated was the fact that Samsung replaced its AI with one that was equally as bad. Bixby. And in this channel we don't talk about Bixby. Now, I want to end this video on a good note. I mean, Samsung has done a lot over these past years with the release of new phones and tablets. If you're someone who's in the market looking to buy this phone, I would look the other way. I mean, there are so many better options that can replace an older phone. And in today's market, it is possible to find the Galaxy S10 for a really good price. I actually made a review on this phone and I can open heartedly recommend this phone to anyone. Now, is the Galaxy S5 all that bad? No. This phone was a great phone to use and will make a great addition to my phone collection. Now, I thank everyone who stuck around to the end, it really means a lot. Now, to end this video on a good note, I will be putting the Galaxy S5 in the phone collection and will crown it for the easiest battery replacement on a phone ever.